Hi friends, welcome back to another Sims gameplay channel. I'm continuing on with Pepper in today's session to see where she goes from here. I hope you enjoy. I am gonna have her do her work task. Oh, she needs to use the fabricator and she also needs to acquire recycled materials. She doesn't have a recycler on this lot, so I'm gonna take her over to Evergreen Harbor to do that. I do want her to switch careers. I'd like her to be an interior designer, but I also just wanted to explore a little bit. So we'll get there, we'll get there, no worry. I think I'm all done here. I don't have too much more to do, so now I'm gonna head over to Evergreen Harbor. Before I get started, I am going to upgrade this a bit. That was a very quick renovation, and I've been doing this renovation in other saves, and I just hadn't done it over here with Pepper. It's different with everyone, but I just add a bathroom or a public bathroom over here, a restroom, and then I add some recyclers and then also some fabricators up here. It is annoying because people do start fabrications and leave them, so you have to scrap them, but it is also convenient to have a bathroom here and a bunch of recyclers, so that's just what I've been doing. It took me less than 10 minutes to get that squared away. So back to it she needs to acquire some recycled materials so I'm gonna have her recycle from her inventory now that she's got her recycled materials I'm just gonna do a couple more things here and then head over to moods and see if we can make a little bit of money she doesn't work again till Tuesday so we've got the weekend I'm not sure if I'll spend the entire weekend there, but I just want to get there, empty out some of her inventory, and see what all she can get sold. And we're off to move. Here we go. Here we are. I'm just gonna open right away and let her fiddle around. All right, I'm gonna speed this up and hang out here for a little while and see how we do. I'm just kind of letting her do what she wants at the moment. I just want to get some funds in for her. She's doing all right. She's got enough for her bills for a little while. I just don't think that the interior designer is going to give her a lot of money to start out, but I might be wrong. Who knows? But I just want to make sure that, you know, she's doing all right. She's got 169,000. But I also know how sometimes Sims can screw me. So, so I think I'm just waiting. <laughs> I think I'm just anticipating, I guess, the Sims game actually screwing Pepper. She's worked so hard. So I'm going to close up shop, I think. It's Sunday morning. I think let's get back to Sulani and quit her job, I guess. I know I don't have to go there to do that. I just, I like to transition things myself. I want to take a look at some new aspirations for her and see if that will guide the path any. So, I'm going to head home, closing up shop, did a pretty good job, opened for 33 hours, sold 28 items, so still kind of right on par. Good job, Pepper. See you at home. She does make $308 an hour. She also has eight vacation days available. I mean, I guess she could go to like Selva Dorada or something and do some jungle hunting and use up her vacation days and kind of get paid. I mean, that is an option, but she's doing all right with money. It's not like she needs it, but $308 an hour, I mean, that's kind of hard to pass up. Okay, so I've got to decide what I want to do, but I have a lot of decisions to make. So the first one I've got to make is her new aspiration. And after careful consideration and thought, I think what I'm going to do is the nerd brain. The reason I'm going to do nerd brain I was torn between several of them, but the reason I'm going to do Nerd Brain is because the reward trait for this is that they instantly fix and upgrade anything. So I think that's really valuable, and I don't know, I just thought that was a good one. I was also torn between giving her a soulmate one and having her get married, which I can absolutely do. I was also thinking about Fabulously Wealthy, and this is... This one, they get a direct deposit each week based on their household funds. So I think this one's a good one too. I might actually do this one, not Nerd Brain. Oh my goodness. 
Well, with that, with all of them, she's kind of got a lot of the things. She's already earned five grand. She already has ten in reserve. So this is going to go really quickly. The only thing that she'd have to do is earn a bit more, and I could just, I, I could actually do this, I think, right now. Let's see how this works. Let's do Fabulously Wealthy. She's got Milestone Complete, Milestone Complete, Milestone Complete. This is funny. And she completed her aspiration. So now she, that's so funny. So now she will get a, uh, it says household funds accrue interest on a weekly basis. So that's great. She's going to start receiving some money. That was so funny. It's the easiest aspiration ever. That is so funny. Okay. So the other option was like Jungle Explorer. So I'm back to, I'm going to do Nerd Brain. I think that's the most beneficial. She's got level 10 on all of this anyway. I think it's also going to go pretty quickly. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. I have to finish reading three books. I'm going to have her do that right now. So we've got a new aspiration. Working on that. And I honestly think she's going to do that very quickly. She already has logic levels. Uh, up to 10. We, I do have to get her a, a rocket ship, which I don't want to have a rocket ship in her yard, but I will, you know, for the purpose of the aspiration. So I'm having a little bit of a revelation here about Pepper. As I was just saying, I'm struggling a little bit with having her quit this job that we just worked so stinking hard to get to level 10 for. So I kind of want to send her on vacation. We can use the eight days of vacation. She can get some decent money from that. But that led me to, so if she's gonna go on vacation, maybe I should have given her like the jungle explorer one. And then, you know, she could go on vacation and do this jungle explorer, which I think she could do in eight days. It would definitely derail the idea of getting her to be the interior designer, but it would also help I guess to minimize this feeling of like we worked so hard to get to the top of this career only to have her quit and join another job so I think I'm gonna switch gears a little bit give her a little bit more time before she moves on to the next career path and allow her to earn some of the vacation or allow her to get paid for some of the vacation that she's earned so now I'm going to have her take a vacation. I think she might have, yep, she already has a machete. I am going to have, I am going to pull this table into her inventory so she can do some of that while she's there. She's mad because her umbrella broke again. She's very dramatic about that. Things are messy and her clothes are wet. Okay, well, let's go. Selva Dorada, here we come. All right, again, I know that this took a turn, a very different turn than we were expecting, but I do think that this is the smartest. I'm going to start with the aspiration right away, and we'll head over to the little the little cafe diner place so she can start getting this going. She's very happy. She's still sad that her umbrella broke, but she's, she's getting over that quickly. Okay. So she has to buy three goods off the marketplace tables, eat a Salvadorian meal, and view the statue. Okay, easy peasy. So the task is to buy three goods off of the table. I don't think that purchasing the exploration supplies counts. I'm gonna buy three things from the exploration supplies option, but I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. I actually think I'm supposed to do this. And I was trying to a minute ago, but it wouldn't let me. So we'll do three of those. And I, perfect, great. I'm gonna have her eat a Salvadoridian meal. Okay. She's already achieved level three of the Salvadoridian culture. She did that before. Oh, she just has three. So she does need more. I could talk to people, I think, about it. And then that helps. So we'll do that and see if we can increase the culture skill. Oh good, she got to level four, nice. Okay, find an area off the path and examine three traps. All right, we're gonna head off, we're doing that now. 
she doesn't need to sleep or anything, so here we go. I should have just had her go to the campsite. She doesn't even need that house that she spent $3,000 on. Let's see what happens. While blazing a trail in the jungle, Pepper comes across a small group of capybaras hanging out by a water hole. As she observes them, she notices one of them is approaching a huge swarm of bees. The capybara doesn't seem to notice the impending danger. What should Pepper do? Pepper should scare off the bees. It says higher fitness leads to better results. She's got all, she's got nine, almost ten. Or I could wave around the flower. I bought a couple of them, so I'm gonna do that. Pepper waves the flower around to attract the bees' attention. The bees waste no time heading her way for an attack. Thinking quickly, she tosses the flower over a waterfall and the bees follow it right over. She breathes a sigh of relief and sits down on a nearby log. Something glimmering catches her eye. It's a treasure! Good job, Pepper! I haven't technically found something off the path. This might be it, though. She does not have rocket science skill. It says the higher the rocket science, but I can poke at the egg with the flower. It says Pepper is foraging through the jungle when she almost trips over a large, strange looking egg just lying on the jungle floor. Who knows what kind of creature is inside? What should Pepper do? Leave the egg alone, examine the odd egg, or poke, an egg, poke at egg with flour. She doesn't have rocket science skill, but she does have a flower, so I'm gonna poke at it. Pepper softly pokes at the egg with the flower. She is surprised when the egg starts to crack open and a tiny alien crawls out and starts munching on the flower. The alien is really gentle, so Pepper decides to take it home with her? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is she really, where is this? Where is this alien? I see it. Oh, that's so funny! The live space squid. I thought it was really gonna be like something... I mean, not like a like a cat or a dog or something. I guess I just thought it was gonna be a little bit different than that. And did that get her that? Yes! So now she needs to find some traps, which I think she's gonna find more so closer to the temple. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. We'll check in in a bit. what just happened this girl went in my tent this sim showed up out of nowhere and went in my tent there is a sim in there there's another sim in my tent right now there hasn't been a person here yeah yeah see she just went in my tent that was so weird I decided to pull the tent out because she was uncomfortable from being in the rain and then I thought that might help her to feel a little bit better while Pepper rests in her tent after a long day in the jungle. I'm going to go ahead and end it here for now. Thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you in the next video.